We want to show you the tremendous response to this blaze. Firefighters that have been here throughout the day, a multi-alarm, four-alarm blaze that started this afternoon. A team of investigators have been here throughout the day looking into this fire that started at that house that you see right there and spread to another. Let's take a look at the Citizen App video showing those thick plumes of black smoke billowing from that home on Shotwell Avenue here in the Arbor Heights section of Staten Island. Flames broke out inside that home screened in porch at about 1.30 this afternoon. It spread so quickly before that fire went to four alarms. The rear of the home collapsed onto the firefighters, leaving them with serious injuries. The homeowner, who has lived here for 43 years, spoke to us earlier and said he was out grocery shopping when the fire started. But his son was home at the time, and his son didn't even know the fire was burning until the power went out in his room. I just saw that a breaker flipped uh, when I was working. I lost internet and some of the outlets stopped working. Uh, so I went to put back on and wouldn't go back on. Uh, so then I went downstairs and saw smoke coming in through the screen room. It has an old fire in the corner in, the, in that screen room. You have no idea. My son was home. We got back to the business trip. We were out and we saw flames in the back between the two houses. But we have no idea. So we still don't know the cause of that fire still under investigation. It is very early, but the family of both of those homes have been displaced tonight. They're standing around the corner. They're wrapped up in Red Cross blankets, hoping to find a way to stay tonight, a place to stay tonight. We are live in the Arbor Heights section of Staten Island. Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News. Steve very well. All right. Thanks, Richard. Let's check in now with the scene at Staten Island University Hospital North, where those three firefighters are being treated. And Stephanie Bertini joins us live from there. Stephanie, what do we know about these firefighters' conditions? So we're here at the hospital, 6.6 uh, 6 miles away from the scene where we just heard from Richard. Those three firefighters were sent here, according to FDNY, with serious injuries. Now, we just got an update before news time. We're told that they are conscious and alert inside the hospital. An additional 17 firefighters were hurt at the scene, so 20 total. That's the number we're getting from FDNY. Those firefighters, their injuries described to us as non-life threatening. We're waiting to get more information about about exactly what the injuries were when it comes to the three that were serious. Right now, the mayor is inside the hospital. He is being debriefed. We expect to hear from him. We also expect to hear more information shortly. Back out here live, we're outside the hospital. Inside the hospital in the next few minutes, we expect a news conference to start. We're monitoring that news conference, and we'll bring you any up-to-date information.